ABC heads continued to roll. Sophie, uh, the radio host Antoinette Latouf was sacked this afternoon, as she should have been, for her anti-Israel social media posts. Uh, here's one of those posts. Have a listen. Israelis get killed, Palestinians just die. Language matters. Israelis are always killed. You can also use the word slaughtered, barbaric attacks, victims of terrorism when describing their tragic deaths. But for Palestinians, given the body count exceeds 10,000, best to keep it ambiguous. Like, all these Palestinians have died. We don't know how. Maybe they spontaneously combusted. Maybe it had something to do with a dodgy air fryer or a Tesla. How the hell did she ever think she was going to keep a job at the ABC by doing that? Well, Steve, I broke this story this afternoon after putting inquiries into the ABC. Uh, Chair Ita Butros, Managing Director David Anderson, received numerous complaints about what Antoinette was posting on social media. Now, this is a monumental failure of epic proportions by ABC management, who put Antoinette in that role as a fill-in radio broadcaster, Steve. Now, she's prolific on social media. She doesn't shy away from her pro-Palestinian views. This is not a secret. ABC management put her there. They knew exactly what she she was doing, and I know on very good authority that Chair Ita Butros is absolutely furious about this. Uh, management are in damage control. They're scrambling tonight. They don't have a host to replace Antoinette tomorrow at this point, when I last made inquiries about an hour ago. It is an absolute shambles. And Steve, I will say this, it always falls one way with the ABC. You never see hosts getting scolded for pro-Israel tweets or pro-Israel posts or pro-voice pro, uh, you know, the no side. It's always the same view, the leftist uh, view of the ABC. This is rife through the public broadcaster. This has embarrassed the whole radio arm. And, Steve, this is just an absolute disgrace that, that these sort of people are getting plum rolls on the ABC. Management are putting them there. Bronwyn, you and I have been around long enough to know when the ABC was classy, it was independent, it was balanced, and you could turn it on and you could rely for it. You know, the quarter to eight news was always uh, there, independent, accurately reporting. How's it gone so bad so quickly? I mean, it's just disgraceful these days. Well, the, the rot really began in the 70s, and that slowly got worse and worse. And you always had a socialist cell in there. You had people who were very much identified um, along the way with the far left of politics. Uh, and unfortunately, there's no discipline from the top. It seems to be run by a collective. Uh, and until, and my, my solution has been, or recommendation has been, that the charter that is contained in the legislation that established the commission or co the corporation um, should be enforceable. Because in the legislation, it specifically states that it is not enforceable. You can't bring an action against the ABC for breach of its charter. Now, if you made the charter enforceable, then you would start to get accountability. It can't be beyond the wit of man to do that. So I think it's about time that happened. And then I think in the future, there has to be a look at whether or not the ABC should become a subscription service. Uh, the BBC is looking at that. It may well be looked at here. But I think the way that the ABC is now going, where someone deliberately put that woman in that position, deliberately, knowing um, that others had been cast aside from their hosting roles because of their attitudes. Uh, and to be impartial means precisely that. To uphold standards means precisely that. So let's make the charter enforceable. But Steve, you must add a little chuckle to yourself today, Bronwyn. <laughs> Sorry, right. yeah. Can I just Go add ahead. in, Steve, sorry to interrupt, but I will wait and make this point, and with all due respect to what Bronwyn is saying, the coalition we were in power for 10 years. They did nothing about this. This is not a new problem. This isn't something that just suddenly popped up out of nowhere. What did the coalition government do about this activism in the ABC? What did they do to change it? Nothing happened, and they are complaining about it, as they do, but they're largely to blame because they didn't do anything to make changes there. Sophie, I've got to say that I did Fair actually point, raise, I did raise exactly that point in the party room. I have done it myself. The fact that it wasn't taken up, I won't 
tell you uh, where I think blame <laughs> should lie, but I, I haven't, uh, I haven't come, come on. up with this as Name a new names. idea. Name names. <laughs> oh, why not, Bronwyn? <laughs> that would be so fun. Yes, well, I just think yeah. it is the way you two, you, you, you two can uh, talk off air and we'll get names exchanged. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Bromham Bishop and Sophie Ellsworth, thank you very much for your time as usual.